Hello Moon Lane TV, my name is Harry Woodgate and I'm an author and illustrator. I've illustrated several picture books but today I'm super excited to be here reading my debut author illustrator picture book which is Granddad's Camper. We're also going to be doing a drawing activity later on where you can design your very own camper van and you can customise it in any way that you like. So that's going to be really cool. To introduce a little bit about the book, Grandad's Camper is all about a granddaughter who's listening to her granddad talk about all the amazing adventures that he used to go on with his late husband, Gramps, in their vintage camper van. But now that Gramps has passed away, Granda just doesn't feel like it anymore. So his granddaughter hatches a cunning plan to get him back out on the road and having fun and adventuring again. The idea for Grandad's Camper came to me because although we see a lot more picture books with two mums or two dads than we did when I was younger, there are still not so many books with grandparents who are part of the LGBT community. So I thought it would be really lovely to write a book with two granddads and all of the love and the warmth that they share for one another. I was also really inspired by my own granddad who I was never able to grow up with, but who I feel like I know because of all of the wonderful stories that my family has shared with me. And of course, granddad in the book is a completely different character to my granddad, but I wanted to show how important those stories and memories can be and how we can find ways to feel close to the people that we love even when we can't see them, which I think is something that a lot of us have gone through during the pandemic. So without further ado, let's read Grandad's Camper. You can see Grandad and Gramps just down there driving along in their camper van. And then this little sheepy character on the other side going, bah. And there they are, driving through a city scene. Every summer, I go to stay at my granddad's house by the sea. It's a pretty old cottage, with bookshelves packed to the brim with interesting things from granddad's travels and lots of brilliant places to play hide and seek. In the garden, Grandad grows all kinds of fruit and vegetables. There's a big cherry tree, which if you shake just enough, yum. And can you see all the cherries dropping from the tree there? And I wonder what Grandad's dog has got there too. But my favourite thing to do at Grandad's house is to snuggle up on the sofa and listen as Grandad tells me about all of the amazing places that he and Gramps would explore. Your Gramps was quite the adventurer. He was tall and handsome and excellent at so many things. Although tidiness was not one of them. And can you see how messy he is there in his studio? It's a bit like mine. Soon after we met, he invited me on holiday, so we set off in his camper to the seaside. In the daytime we surfed, ate fish and chips, and we had a sandcastle competition. I think I won. I wonder what this seagull is doing, I wonder if he's going to steal one of those chips. Then in the evenings we'd have bonfires by the beach and watch the tide going in and out of the bay. One afternoon, Gramps said to me, there are so many wonderful things in this world and I want to see them all with you. So that's exactly what we did. You can see the lovely little picnic that they're having there by the riverside. Gramps always wanted to visit the city, so that's where we went first. We drove through dark tunnels, over fancy bridges, and in between these towering skyscrapers. Everywhere was full of life. There were so many people, so many animals, and so many things to see. It was amazing. We saw lots of different kinds of homes, from high-rise flats to terraces and townhouses. But we were happy with our little home on wheels, 
which we could take wherever we pleased. And I wonder if you can see the kind of home that you have on this page. So we've got the skyscrapers and the apartment buildings and then some of these little terrace houses down here. And then we've got the camper van driving through them. Grandad puts down the photo album and smiles. I can see how much those memories mean to him and how much he loved Gramps. Why don't you go anywhere now, Grandad? It's not the same without Gramps. He made everything feel extra special. Now he isn't around, I just don't feel like it. A thought pops into my head. Do you still have your camper van? He winks. Follow me. I run outside to the garage and with all my might I heave open the big old doors. There it is. It looks rather sorry for itself but I come up with a clever plan. Let's fix it up and go to the seaside together. He looks at me and laughs. I suppose we can take one more trip. So off comes the dust sheets and we get to work. Finally, we stand back and look at our handiwork. Your Gramps would be so happy to see this. It's what he would have wanted. I think we should pack up some snacks and some hot chocolate and we can go and camp on the beach, just like we used to. So, that's exactly what we do. And you can see that the dog is tired from all of his adventures as well. And there they are, driving off into the sunset for another adventure. I really hope you enjoyed the book. And now, this is my favourite part, which is drawing. So, today we're going to learn how to design our very own camper van. And you can decorate yours in any way that you like. And if you're feeling really adventurous, you could even draw some of the places that you'd most like to visit if you could go on holiday in it. The first step is to get your paper. Now, I do most of my illustrations on the computer. I use this big screen here to draw on. So I'm going to switch over to that in a moment. Um, but you can use any paper that you want, any color, whatever takes your fancy. And next, you'll need some art materials. So you could use some felt tip pens or pencils, inks, again, whatever you feel like. To start off, we're going to draw a horizontal line about a quarter of the way up from the bottom of the paper. This is going to be our road. And then we're going to draw two circles, evenly spaced apart. And these are going to be our camper van's wheels. Let's add two smaller circles inside the ones that we've just drawn. Then, to add the body of the van, we're going to draw another horizontal line like this, and then complete it to draw an almost rectangle, making sure to curve the edges at the top. Your rectangle might be super neat, but don't worry if it's a little bit wonky. In fact, I often think that it's much nicer when a drawing is a bit wonky because then you can feel all the movement of the person who drew it. So now we've got the basic shape of our camper van, which means that we can start adding the windows. What we're going to do is draw another horizontal line right through the middle of our rectangle. And then in the top section, we're going to draw three more rectangles like this. I'm going to make the corners rounded but you don't have to if you don't want to. And then I'm going to add a grill at the back, like this. It's starting to look like a camper van, isn't it? Now you can add another rectangle on the front of the van, like this, which is going to be the spare wheel. So if you're out adventuring somewhere and you drive over something sharp, you might get a puncture in one of your camper van's wheels, and we don't want that. So it's useful to have a spare one just in case. Next, we're going to add a small circle at the front for the headlights and a little three shape at the back like this for the rear lights. And finally, let's add a wing mirror by the front window so you can check what's behind you when you're driving along. And that is pretty much all you need to do to draw your camper van. 
So that means that we're getting to the really fun part, which is decorating it. In Grandad's camper, the van is a lovely warm pink colour with a wide blue stripe along the side. I think this time though, I'm going to go for something a bit different. So I'm going to start off with a nice purple colour. I think this will do. And then I'm going to add in some yellow and white stars. You can choose any colour or pattern that you want. And again, it doesn't matter what materials you're using. So you could use coloured pencils, felt tip pens, paints, or you could even get an adult to help you cut out some different coloured papers and collage them together. As for your decoration, maybe you could do a stripe like in the book, or you could draw some flowers on the side of your van, or if you really want to customise it, you could add some extra features like a rooftop balcony or some rocket boosters so that you can go really fast. Grandad and Gramps have a gorgeous rainbow coloured pride flag attached to the top of their van. So I'm going to add a flag too, but you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm non-binary and I use they, them pronouns. So I'm going to add the non-binary pride flag to the top of my van because it's something that's important to me. Funnily enough, I didn't plan this in advance, but the colours match really well. Once you're happy with your drawing, you could either leave it as it is, or if you want to, you could have a go at drawing the place that you would visit first if you could go on holiday in your camper van. It could be absolutely anywhere. In the book, Grandad and Gramps go to the seaside, to the big city, to the rainforest, and lots of other amazing places. I think if I could go anywhere, it would probably be somewhere with lovely mountains and green forests and lots of things that I could draw and take photos of. I think I'm happy with my design, so here it is. Hopefully you've enjoyed drawing along and reading the story with me as well. Thank you so much for joining me today and a huge thank you to Moon Lane TV for having me as well. And I hope you have a lovely day.